What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today I'm going to be telling you why influencers are 100% not dead in 2019 and I'm going to be sharing some exclusive knowledge that's allowed me to make well into the five figures with Instagram influencers and that's just this year. Let's get into the video. All right, so like I said earlier, Instagram influencers are 100% not dead. I believe that they're not going anywhere anytime soon, but just like everything else, the game is changing. There's more competition, more saturation, and granted, it can be harder to make sales, but there's ways to combat this. The biggest way to combat saturation is to make your company stand out. That means you actually have to put some time and some thought and some effort into your advertisements. For example, if I'm running an advertisement on a large page that normally posts like dark styled Twitter posts, I don't know if you guys have seen those, but it has like a black background and white text, then I'll make an advertisement that's exactly like that. You just have to go the extra mile to really make your advertisement look professional and credible. I highly, highly recommend that you use video advertisements for Instagram influencers. These always seem to do better for me, plus you have a higher chance of getting on the explore page, which can bring some insane results. I've had my second highest day from getting on the explore page. However, I always try to avoid putting a lot of text in my videos or being overly salesy. In my experience, videos that have a lot of text explaining the product tend to do better with Facebook ads than with Instagram influencers. When I'm testing, I always try to create at least three advertisements per product because you never really know what's going to work best. Once you have found that winning ad, you don't want to oversaturate it. So try not to run the same ad on the same page any more than twice in a row. In addition, you don't want to run the same ad any more than one time per week on a certain page. The only exception for this is if you see a lot of competition coming into the market and you really want to capitalize on it while you have the advantage. That's understandable. And if you do have a lot of competition coming into your market, then hit your influencers up and ask if they'll reject other offers to advertise the same product. You may have to pay them a little bit extra for this, but it is going to be well worth it in the end. Another huge piece to Instagram influencers is your brand. There is absolutely no way that you can create a store and you can create an Instagram page in 20 minutes and throw up an ad and expect to make sales. It just doesn't work like that. Your Instagram page needs to have at least a couple hundred followers and a few dozen high quality niche related pictures and videos. That doesn't mean 20 pictures of your products with white backgrounds. Actually, the complete opposite. Dropshipping stores are all over Instagram and it doesn't take a genius to spot one. Plus, many people have had really bad experiences shopping on Instagram so they have a stigma basically because of dropshipping stores, but having a strong brand can help combat this and encourage people to buy from you. Another way to combat saturation is to use unique Instagram pages. You don't want to use a page that's posting any more than seven ads per day. Personally, I try to keep it at three or less. Likewise, you also don't want to use a page that's posting like 20 times per day. You actually want to aim for pages that post three times or less per day. That way, your ad doesn't get swallowed up and forgotten about among all of their other posts. Although there are always exceptions, a general rule with influencers is that you get what you pay for. Instagram recently added a new feature where you can see where business pages are located. I really like this because I always try to avoid working with any pages from third world or really minor countries. I've had nothing but bad experiences with third world countries, plus it's a good sign that many of the followers are either foreign or they're fake, neither of them which you want. To figure out where a page is located, all you need to do is go to the account, click the three dots in the top right hand corner, and then click like about this page or something like that. I'll throw a video up on the screen showing how to do it. 
There's a whole lot of people that say influencers are dead, but honestly, they probably just don't know how to pick the right page. There is a ton of crap that influencers pull, like engagement groups, fake followers, and sometimes just straight up stealing your money, and you do need to be aware of that if you're not already, so be sure to click the video that's somewhere above my head. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've had a good or a bad experience with influencers and why below in the comments. Be sure to hit that big red subscribe button on your way out and I'll see you in the next one.